So I'm going to talk a little bit about fucking up and realizing you're messing up. Because honestly, people look at it as a bad thing when you're messing up. I look at it as a learning moment. So today is Friday. And Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I was on a vacation back home with my daughter. And it gave me time to realign myself, refocus myself, recenter, and really get back to who I want to be. But the day before that, that Sunday night, you know, I, I flew back to see her Monday morning, which couldn't have came at a better time because I was getting, as they say, lost in the sauce. You know, so uh, I was just working too much. You know, and I say that, you know, everybody, I mean, that's what I do. I work a lot. And people hear me talking about it all the time. But what comes with that? A little bit of drinking maybe some cigarette smoking, maybe a bad attitude, you know, and that's going to happen with anybody. If you're work, you have to, sometimes you got to sack You can't do everything. You know, you can't be working all the time and be a great person and be hundred percent healthy. I mean, you can try, but stuff's going to fall off. You know, stuff's going to kind of, you're going to go off the rails, you know, it's going to happen. And that's where I was at. I was that, like I said, I flew back Monday to go see my daughter, but that Sunday night at work, I was drinking a little bit, not good. Which, you know, I can normally handle it and everything. But that night I got into an argument with a busser, a bartender, and a manager. And just not the person I want to be. But sometimes you have to see that ugly side of yourself to correct yourself, you know? And so I got back here now and I'm like, definitely booze down. And I even was smoking some cigarettes a little bit just because I was so stressed between working all the time. Definitely those down too. I re uh, just bought a little hot yoga package. So I'm going to be doing a little bit more yoga to try and get my mind right. You know, and it's only natural. You're going to slip up. You got to catch it and correct yourself. It's going to happen. You, and that's the beauty of messing up is you can see it. You know, like if, if you're just teeter-tottering the whole time, you'll think you're okay. But once you make that big leap over, then you can actually tell like, hey, man, this is not who I want to be. This is not what I want to be doing. This is not how I want to be acting, not how I want to be representing myself. And then you could catch it and make the change. So, like, I'm happy that I'm so embarrassed. You know, it's like a hard night of drinking or something like that. You know, I, uh, or like, say you, you say you were drinking one night and got into a car wreck, you know, or something bad like that. And you're going to, you're going to be at your bottom point. You're going to be, oh man, I'm such an idiot. But it's where you go from there that, that, that affects you, you know, or say, you, you know, say you're getting into a, you know, that's why they say like, if a couple gets into a huge argument, sometimes they'll be at, bounce back stronger than ever because you got to see what's going on. And sometimes you have to have your eyes open to it. So Sunday, you know, leading up to this, I was just, I was going off the rails. You know, I was just stressed out. I want to make videos, this and that. But I told myself, you know, now that I'm back, I'm like, hey, let's just focus again once more on mental health, spiritual health. All right. So I, like I said, I enrolled back in hot yoga. You know, I'm definitely putting the drinking down, the cigs down. I'm still going to be working a lot, but I'm not going to be picking up extra shifts and doing all that extra stuff. I'm going to try to focus on me a little bit more. So my goal is one video a week of a different place or just a little like rant or talk that I want to talk about. But like I said, the benefits of fucking up is you can see it and then you can readjust your course. You know, you can't do anything about the past. All you can do is the future. So with that being said, if you're fucking up, cool, good, as long as you notice it. You know, and sometimes it takes a big fuck up or a big argument or a big fight before you actually notice it. But once you see it with clear eyes, once you diagnose the problem, then you can start solving it. So it's back to who I want to be, what I want to be doing, and kind of where I want to be mentally, spiritually, emotionally. So thank God that I had that vacation with my daughter. It came at the right time. You know, I was like reaching reaching my end. So, but now that I had that, it kind of, it's like a recharge on your battery. So, hey, here's back to being whole again. Here's back to trying to be myself again. And hey, feel free to subscribe if you're feeling like it. Um, like, you know, people who don't know me, I just travel around as a server bartender. I go to all the different hot spots. But also, I just want to talk about stuff that's going on in my own life. Because if it's going on in my life, it could be going on in your life. We're all so similar. We all go through the same things. We all just want to be the best version of ourselves. And we all go off the rails. So if you're going off, if you have gone off the rails, recognize it and do something about it. So subscribe for more little rants or just for going to cool places or checking out new things. If not, it's cool. Have a good day. Stay blessed and try to be the best version of yourself, okay? Because that's really the goal of life. All right. Thanks, guys. Stay blessed.